Everyone has their own story to share on celebrity encounters. Some are positive, while others are negative. The internet was recently buzzing about the interaction between Candace Cameron Bure and a certain pop star, Jojo Siwa. Why is Candace Cameron Bure the rudest celebrity Jojo Siwa has ever met? What was Candace's response to this accusation? And how do they now feel about each other? Stay tuned to discover the full gist of their interaction. What brought about the issue? It all started as a light-hearted TikTok video, with Jojo Siwa sharing her thoughts on celebrities. The clip, which involved Jojo flashing pictures on her phone to tell us who she thinks is the coolest. Her crush, celebrity, amongst others, got our attention when it came time to reveal the rudest celebrity she has ever met. And guess who it was? You got that right, it was a picture of Candace in a short sleeve turtleneck. But why is Candace Cameron Bure the rudest celebrity Jojo Siwa has ever met? Do you remember the pop popular saying that you should not meet your heroes? Well, Jojo was one of those few people who probably should have listened. According to her, she has been a huge fan of Candace since before she could remember. And Jojo finally got to meet Candace at the premiere of The Fuller House on the red carpet. By this time, Jojo was 11 years old, while Candace was 38. An excited Jojo decided to walk up to Candace and ask to feature in a picture because why not? After all, she was a die-hard fan, and fans are allowed to pose for pictures with their adored star, right? But here's the bummer. Candace turned the starstruck 11-year-old fan down, stating that it was not a good time. Understandably, Jojo must have been disappointed at being turned down, but that wasn't the reason she described her as rude. Lo and behold, Old, Jojo turned and saw the same person who had claimed she was busy smiling and taking pictures with other kids. Now, that must have cut so deep. Come on, she was 11, and even grown-ups feel bad when rejected by their favorite celebrities. Was that an oversight on Candace's part? We can't be certain about that, but judging from Jojo's video that started the entire issue, it didn't seem like she still felt bitter about it. It just seemed like innocent participation in the ongoing trend. But it is possible that she might have stepped on some toes with her video. What was Candace's response to this accusation? Since watching the 19-year-old pop star video, we've been curious to hear what the 46-year-old star of the American television sitcom Full House had to say about the accusation of being rude. Candace replied to the accusations via an Instagram video two days after the video incident, and she couldn't help but state her shock. She mentioned in the video that she had no idea what could have led to being called rude. We kind of understand her viewpoint. There are times when poor decisions or bad actions stem from a place of stress rather than displeasure, and being held to account for things you had no knowledge of doing might be alarming. Like any mature adult, Candace reached out to Jojo through a mutual friend to discuss the reason for the accusation. According to Candace, they were able to discuss the issue that morning prior to Candace's video. So what transpired between them? Thankfully, they both had a great conversation to clear the air. When Candace asked about the issue, she recalled that Jojo was kind of reluctant to tell her the reason for classifying her as the rudest celebrity she's ever met, especially after they seemingly had a great time together on The Kelly Clarkson Show in 2019. Jojo, after some time, later talked about the incident that occurred eight years ago when she was still a child. According to Candace, the young star noted that Candace had just said, not right now, and continued what she had been doing to take pics with other people. So what was Candace Cameron's response to this revelation? She acted maturely and took the time to apologize to Jojo Siwa for it. She then took time to apologize to her mother as well, because she understood how her mother must have felt to witness that happen to her daughter. In short, the two stars are now in good terms since the heat of the drama has finally dissipated. Candace commented that Jojo still watches the Full House shows, implying that she's over the actions of the sitcom star. How do they feel about each other? After Candace's narration, of their call, Jojo still had something to say on the issue two days later. When asked about the issue, she commented that the 46-year-old star did not actually share the full details of the incident in her Instagram video. According to Jojo, Candace had refused to take a picture with her at the after party, and she was initially cool with that, but she was shocked to see the same person who turned her down take pictures with other children. Does this mean Jojo is still holding the grudge? Not really, although she said that 
that moment was one she'll never forget for as long as she lived, and mentioned that she has no issues with Cameron and does not view her as an awful person. JoJo was even nice enough to say she understands Cameron more now as a celebrity. Now the drama is finally over with both of them appreciating the other as stars and positive persons. Or is it really over? Maybe not. After the two stars had opened up about the entire issue and agreed there was no bitterness behind the actual incident and their feelings about it, Jojo Siwa's mother seemed to have opened up the matter again. Well, why would she do that after it was finally over? The following week, Jessalyn Siwa expressed her take on the issue in defense of her daughter. She went on record to say that she was the first to call out Candace on her manners. The question now is why? It seemed unnecessary at that point. Well, regardless of her motives, we might want to consider the love of a mother. She probably felt bad that her daughter still remembers the incident that much. On the podcast, she gave her rough recount of the issue and even mentioned that she joked with Siwa to make a similar comment when the two stars met a couple of years later. Thankfully, the issue didn't blow out of proportion again after Jessalyn's recount, but the story took a different turn when Natasha Cameron slammed JoJo on Instagram. Candace's daughter, unfortunately, was not as calm as her mother when talking about the issue. She, without restraint, talked about how sensitive JoJo's generation was and even remarked that they had no backbone. She notes that someone declining a photo with you does not count as a rough experience, which were the exact words JoJo used to describe the incident. She made comments about people with actual problems and implied that JoJo's displeasure as a child didn't count as one. Yes, she has since deleted the messages, but we're waiting to check if JoJo will respond. Is there more to JoJo's TikTok video? Although the video the former Dance Mom star posted was brief, she managed to let us in on what she felt about other celebrities too, and what was a blink and you miss it moment. Due to the internet fuss, TikTok decided to take down the video, but not before we've taken good note of her choices. Now we know that Zendaya is her celebrity crush, which is not surprising as everyone loves the gorgeous actress. She tagged Miley Cyrus, the nicest celebrity, and Elton John, the coolest. However, she flashed a photo of SpongeBob SquarePants for the tag, Celebrities That Did Me Dirty. Now, that seems interesting. Fans speculated that the young pop star was referring to Nickelodeon, judging from her SpongeBob reference. Now, what issue does she have with Nickelodeon? Last year, the dancer expressed her bitterness, claiming that Nickelodeon refused to let her play her own songs for her then upcoming movie, J Team. She was really bitter about this and complained that they were her songs and writings. Plus, she sang them herself. She further labeled the company as disrespectful in treating people as just brands. And that is not the only issue. Jojo Siwa was also not invited to the Kids' Choice Awards, despite getting a nomination at said awards. Fans had expected to see the Nickelodeon mogul at the event, but were shocked when she was nowhere to be found. So she was questioned, and her simple answer was that she was just not invited. Early last year, she announced herself as a member of the LGBTQ community, and fans wonder if this is why she was snubbed. JoJo subtly affirmed fan speculation by retweeting posts related to Nickelodeon being homophobic. Might this be the reason for her not getting an invitation? Or is Nickelodeon still smarting for being publicly ridiculed on her deleted post? We can't be sure of anything for now. And that brings us to the end of this video. What are your thoughts on JoJo and Candace's issue? What's your opinion on Jessalyn and Natasha's take on the matter? Slide into the comments to let us know. Thanks for watching.